guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I am back with another beauty review on the channel. And this time around I have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Shower Cream slash Gel. All right, so this little baby right here, this is the 90 mil size. I recently got this in a gift set that I purchased and I just thought I would give it a review for you, give it a try and let you know what my thoughts are. Now it's going to be a little bit hard to show you the texture of it on camera just because it obviously isn't in a clear container and the texture of it is, I wouldn't say it's thin but it's not overly thick either so it's going to be a little bit hard to show you but I will try and see if I can get some. Is it going to come out? Can you get some? Okay so I'm not sure if you can see that. I have to try and bend it and tilt it so it doesn't completely come out. But it is pretty similar to most shower gels that I've tried. Um, it, it is a little thicker, obviously, because of the cream aspect of it. But yeah, it's not overly thick or overly thin in terms of the texture. Now, it does say that it is a sulfate-free product, which I know a lot of people are concerned about these days. They don't want to be using sulfates on the body because they can be drying, um, especially if you wash your body quite regularly, if you have a very active lifestyle or you just shower a lot. Um, you know, it, it can be, you know, annoying using sulfates because they can really dry out your skin. So, um, I am just going to go over a couple of the key ingredients because the ingredients are actually printed on the back. So it does have water as the main ingredient, sodium cocal isothenate, so that is the detergent slash foaming agent that's there instead of sulfates. Um, it has some perfume, obviously. Uh, it's got coconut acid, tosiferol, which is vitamin E. It's got coconut oil. Uh, Kwapku seed butter, acai fruit oil, that's pretty much it. The rest is like glycerine and alcohol and other preservatives that are pretty common in most products that you purchase on the market. So the scent of this, I will say the scent of this isn't overly like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It's a really light scent actually, which totally surprised me. I mean, it's got a little bit of the Boom Boom scent to it, but it's you know, that sort of caramely nutty smell, but it's just not enough for me to really love it. I, I was really expecting more in terms of the scent. I don't know. I just, I think they missed the mark with the scent of this product. They really could have just amped it up and gone really intense with it, but they didn't. Um, another thing is I find this little opening at the top really hard to press down you do need to use a lot of force on it. So if you're someone who has issues with your fingers or, you know, arthritis or mobility things with your hands that make it difficult to press things like this open, um, I wouldn't recommend purchasing the smaller size. I'm not sure if it's better with the bigger size. I obviously don't have it and I haven't tried the bigger size of this, but just keep that in mind if you do have problems with your hands. Um, I did actually just twist the top off and pour it out. I thought that that was a far easier way to use it. But yes, that's obviously something that you can decide for yourself. But one thing I do like, oh, Jesus Christ, I've got to press it down again. Okay. One thing I do like is the hole itself isn't overly big. It is a good size for the actual product. I know many companies who just love to make sizes of the holes in their products that dispense the product really big just to screw you over and make you use as much product as possible so you repurchase it. But yes, I greatly respect Sol de Janeiro for not going down that route and for actually making it at a size that is reasonable and easy to um, dispense in that context without using too much at once. But yes, I think the design of the top of the lid could be a lot better. I just think they've scaled it down for this smaller size and they haven't really thought about um, people with issues with their hands and stuff like that. So there you go. And I'm someone who I think my hands are in pretty good condition. My fingers are in pretty good condition. And even I struggled a little bit with getting um, that pressed down. So yeah, just thought I would mention that, especially if you are looking into purchasing it. So yes, overall, look, it's nothing special. I will say that. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this I don't think it's worth the price, to be honest with you. 
I think it definitely misses the key point of a product like this, which is to have that beautiful boom boom scent and have it come through strong and give you a big punch in the face kind of thing. They missed the mark on that. Um, the actual cream gel formula itself is not bad at all. I actually really enjoyed it. It was sort of like that perfect mixture of having a shower gel, which gives you that nice foaming action and makes you feel quite clean, but also has that sort of creaminess to it that makes your body feel um, not overly um, dry or stripped of oils and things like that after being washed. It sort of has that nice feeling to it where, you know, if you, if you had fairly normal skin and you don't moisturize all that often, you could easily just pop your clothes on and go out the door after towel drying. But if you're someone with drier skin, it won't leave you feeling really tight and dry either. But you, you know, you obviously would still need to use a moisturizer after using this because it's not super moisturizing. It's not, it's not a super moisturizing shower cream gel thing either. So there you go. Um, I mean, like I said before, if you are looking for a sulfate-free alternative, this could be a great option for you. Um, and if you enjoy the Soul Digineuro brand and you like to support them, um, you know, go, go ahead. Feel free to purchase it. I mean, I love the brand overall. I've loved pretty much all their products that I've tried so far. But this one just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And, yeah, it just sort of missed the mark on a few things for me. So personally, I would rate it a 3 out of 5. It's definitely above average. It's not, you know, it's not a terrible product by any stretch of the imagination. But, yes, the strength of the scent could have been better. The design of the cap could have been better. Th those are the two main things that I would have improved with the product. So there you go. Thank you so, so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful for you or at the very least entertaining. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this product. I know they also have the Coco Cabana um, version of this. I haven't tried that one. So let me know what your thoughts are on that one below as well. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.